Okay, so here's our back rear bucket body panel. You know, these are pretty expensive. They're like 450 is a, something in that ballpark when I go to look these up. So if you can find a car to use car to at least look to see that this is this is probably the most important plastic piece to make sure that it's in decent shape. I'll put a photo of what this one looked like prior to uh, restore restoration. Um, we have again, like I was mentioning on the, my previous cut with the burgundy golf cart, it had a few dents and this and that. Over on this one, there was a really nice gouge on this side here. You can still see it a little bit. I, I guess I missed that spot and then just went with it. But then I sanded a lot of this over and then sprayed that texture on it. And it really comes out very, very, you know, satisf satisfactorily. That texture spray is completely flat. So I put the upper brow here so you, so you can see like the spray comes out flat, which is why you then hit it with the bumper and trim paint. I'll show you guys those cans here in a second. But this piece is pretty much ready to go back on. I might put another coat on the bucket. Um, there's a couple of lines that you can see and like the flat is still kind of coming through. You can notice it there. So probably paint it one more time before I get it on the cart. But overall, this the, the bottom piece is in good shape. I do go all the way up because all of this is exposed. This this will be covered by the body. Um, so anyway, that's what that looks like. So these are the old shocks. I, I was gonna maybe clean them up and just stick them back on and save myself 80 bucks, but yeah. So we ended up grabbing a set, plus the bushings are kind of shot. So you got it this far down. I like to run shocks on it. Some guys say they don't, they don't run shocks on the rear end, especially with the heavy duty springs, but I did. And then again, with some of the plastics, I don't have this button down yet. I didn't paint the top part yet, but I like to spray the bottom, clean the bottom and spray it. Cause obviously that's going to be what you're looking at. This entire thing will be covered by the rear bucket. All right, so went outside, grabbed a couple of these. So this is another respray. So this is after you clean it, this one came out decent, but that's before the spray. And then, you know, this side will be a little bit exposed when you look up in the wheel well. So that's a quick coat. I did get both sides. I remember now I ran out of paint with that side. Here's that main carrier dash carrier that's what it looks like from the underside when it's not on the cart so paid a lot of attention to this front half that's the exposed side obviously right there you know spend a lot of time trying to clean this area this gets hammered right on the golf course uh, there's just no getting the color back so you know this is more or less what it looks like after trying to clean it and clean it and clean it and clean it so didn't bother spraying that far underneath but we did get the outer edges, anything that might be exposed. Um, I didn't mention, I do probably plan on lifting this one. Uh, I, I can't obviously fit 22 inch tires on this one if it's not lifted. So we'll get to that eventually, but it's easy enough to do the lift, um, you know, when it's on the, when it has the rest of the body in it, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Obviously it'd be preferable to just put it all together once, but it might be a couple months out. So there is a certain budget for golf cart stuff. So, you know, I got to stick to it, keep the wife happy. So anyway, I'm going to throw this on real quick and we'll show you the top side of it. And, uh, you know, the difference between spraying it rather than just putting those restoration chemicals on it. All right, 30 seconds later, just literally drop this down. No, it's really just pick it up, put it back down. Um, you know, when you, when you buy and start doing the restoration here, there is tons of garbage that gets all up in here. If it's a course cart, old course cart. So, you know, it's one thing to take it down, you know, this far and pressure wash all this out, but I really do. I like taking these things all the way down and, and really getting them clean. Uh, so up in here, 
I didn't text retexture this. This is just clean it, clean it, clean it. You know, uh, maybe some engine degreaser to get the previous owner's tire dressing off of this. Scrub it outside with a hose. Um, then came back in with Dawn, just disc soap to make sure we get any other grease out of it so it sticks really well. So again, these pockets are, you know, in person and it, it looks like it's coming across on the camera. They're, it's like it's brand new up here. So it, when the cart's back together, this is what you're gonna see still, right? These pockets. So I like these to look really good. There's a little bit of exposure too. When you get them back together here, sometimes the rocker covers most of this, but um, you take the floor up, you could see a little bit of this. So I like to I like to spray this guy down too. This is obviously exposed. The mat doesn't come all the way out here. So uh, this all gets covered. The one back there, there was a big chunk out of this. So I on the previous one, I put a little bit of material here just to you know cover that or you know have support for the body. Um, so that's why I like painting these. Let me grab the, uh, let me grab another piece of the dash and just before and after kind of. All right, so here's a couple of the dash pieces that I have not sprayed yet. So this is what they look like after just cleaning them. Again, if you want it a quick fix that, you know, spraying some tire dressing in here, I like using tire foam or even, um, you know, one of the more clearer ones. You could spray that out and it'll look fine for a little while, but. It's not really permanent. I do like the other golf cart, the other dashboard. It's a double take dashboard and it goes over all of this because I really, I don't need any golf ball holes or holders, but so, and you probably were wondering where I hid on the other one, uh, the voltage reducer. So the other one, I hid the voltage reducer in here might do that again with this one hide it down in here uh, I did put a fuse panel in that one and that's where all the accessories are going into a 12 volt fuse panel first and then I'm running the accessories off of that up into the dashboard so uh, the fuse panel is mounted to the dashboard behind on that one I'd have to take some stuff apart but I have it somewhere in here I think I might have mounted it right here. I believe it still fits because you do not use with that double take dashboard. You do not put this whole thing back in. So got to do a little work on this yet. I might do, I got the sticker off pretty clean. I might do a texture and spray here with this guy just to make it look fresh and hide the digs that are in it. But we'll cross that bridge, try to cover that in a future video. So there's the wiring harness for this cart. Don't mind all of the red wires. When I bought it, it had the, the headlight and the taillights in it, just had headlights and taillights. And this is pretty much everything for the back half. It has a real harness for the front half, uh, but everything that went to the back half was just those red wires. So I bought a, uh, a full headlight kit off of Amazon. It's supposed to be the deluxe model. I like it because the stick on the column has the headlights on and off but it came with the pedal pad rather than the mechanical and the mechanical one is just better than the the pedal pad so you know what i mean the, the pad that goes on the brake pedal instead like the one back there has the mechanical that you mount in here and when you press on the brake it pulls the rod forward turns the brake on it's missing the timer so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to use that so anyway, we're gonna fart around with this for a little bit more today. I gotta wrap up and get the garage cleared out because we're getting a snowstorm tonight. Gotta get the wife's car back in here. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with how this is coming out so far. I'm just gonna throw the factory wheels back on it. This one will get rolled outside because I don't have batteries in it or nothing. And I do like to keep this one inside, which is why it's on the roller. So I'll just push this back against the cabinets in the background of the video and call it a day for now. We'll see you next time. Gotta keep that.